From fish odor coming out of your body to thinking that your hand is possessed, today we look at 10 horrifying medical conditions. Fish odor syndrome is a rare metabolic disorder that causes the person to have foul odor. The smell can be described as a fishy odor. This odor occurs when the body produces excessive amount of trimethylaminuria. This goes throughout the body's urine, breath, and sweat, which causes the foul stench. It is said to be more common in women than men. Stone Man Syndrome or Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva FOP, is an extremely rare disease of the connective tissues. This disease is progressive and turns soft tissues into bone over time. It is caused by a gene mutation that allows ossifications to go unchecked. Any kind of trauma or injury worsens this condition. Even surgical procedures of removing the bones cause the body to produce even more bones in the area. This genetic disease affects about 1 in 2 million people. Sadly, there are no cures or treatments at the current time. Polychoria is a pathological condition of the eye, where a person with polychoria has more than one opening in the iris. A person with true polychoria would have multiple pupils, and each pupil would contain a sphincter that allows the ability to contract. Noma is a gangrenous infection that targets the person's facial tissue at a progressively rapid rate. This disease is more prevalent in poverty-stricken areas, more specifically towards children who are malnourished with poor hygiene. The progression of disease can be stopped with the use of antibiotics and the increase of nutrition consumption. Shockingly, the fatality rate of the disease is very high due to the lack of money to afford the medication and nutrition. Durkheim's disease is an extremely rare disorder characterized by multiple painful growths consisting of fatty tissues. These fatty tissues or lipomas are usually found in the upper arms, upper legs, and trunks, mainly affecting more female adults than male between the ages of 35 to 50. Some people have suggested the main cause lies in a specific genetic component, but further in-depth explanation is currently unknown. Lesh 9 syndrome, or LNS, is a rare hereditary disease that occurs in one out of every 380,000 births, with mostly male babies. The disease is characterized by neurological and behavioral abnormalities, also the overproduction of uric acid. People affected by LNS have involuntary body movements and need help with simple tasks like moving or sitting. Oftentimes, self-mutilating behaviors are common in people with LNS. They would bang their heads, bite their fingers and lips. Elephantiasis is a condition characterized by extreme enlargement of an area on the body, typically the limbs. It is caused by the obstruction of the lymphatic system. More than 40 million people have been affected by this condition, and the most common cause comes from mosquito-borne parasites that infects the person's lymphatic system. People with elephantiasis would often be disfigured by the massive size of their limbs. Hypertrichosis is a term used for any abnormal amount of hair growth over one's body. It is so rare that one in a billion people have been affected by this, and only 50 known cases have ever been documented. People with this condition have an excessive amount of hair on their face, ears, and shoulders. The disorder can either be inherited or acquired. Qatar Delusion or Walking Corpse Syndrome is a rare mental disorder in which a person truly believes that he or she is dead. The person afflicted with this mental illness often denies his or her own existence. They would neglect their personal hygiene and physical health. Some that suffer from this mental disorder 
have died from starvation because they deprive their bodies from food, thinking they are already dead. Alien Hand Syndrome is a rare neurological disorder where the subject feels that one's hand is possessed by a force outside of one's control. The cause of this condition is due to the separation of lobes in the brain. There is currently no cure or treatment for this disorder. The one solution to help the person control the problem is to constantly have the hand holding on an object or a task to keep the hand busy. 